I just wanted to check in. I was going to print something. Um, the first thing that I'm printing using Cura at my home printer using PETG. Um, and so I just switched over to the generic PETG setting. And I noticed some things that I didn't think should be <laughs> generic PETG settings. Um, so if you're ever going to print with PETG, I just wanted to go over what I would change. Um, so the default that I already changed down here, um, this was, I believe, set to grid. That's up to you. That That's not necessarily something that I'm super uh, concerned about. Um, and it's not so much material based. Um, what I did want to do is come look at this cooling thing here. So if you enable cooling while you're printing PETG, you'll tend to get more cracking, more like the layers don't blend together. It'll cool PETG requires a higher melting temperature than PLA, what, what we've been using. And so part of that is that um, when you enable cooling, it can cause the material to cool too fast. Now, this isn't necessarily true for all high temperature filaments, um, but PETG, it just does not work well with cooling. And aside from having your local print fan on, um, even having the room fan on, I've had I've had prints fail due to that. So that would be the first thing that I would disable. Um, and then the one that I already did was there was also um, a preset setting to have a 20 line brim, which is definitely excessive for anything. And again, your brim, your raft is gonna depend on what you're printing and how much surface um, contact area there is and all that. Um, but regardless of what you're printing, unless it was something excessively tall with little contact area, um, I don't, 20, 20 line brim is definitely excessive. Um, cooling, I would say is the priority here. Make sure you disable cooling if you're working with PETG. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest videos. And if you're interested in our services, head on over to our website to learn more about our expertise in 3D printing, maintenance, reliability, asset management, engineering, drawing, and design. See you in the next video.